be bringing you the latest headlines from around the country. Today, we have two major stories of natural disasters affecting different parts of India. Let's dive right in. Starting with the national capital, several areas in Delhi continue to grapple with flood waters as the Yamuna River, which reached an all-time high yesterday, slowly recedes. Delhi is still feeling the aftermath of the overflowing Yamuna River, which has caused widespread flooding in the city. At present, the water levels have slightly decreased from last night's peak of 208.66 meters to 208.46 meters at 6 a.m. today. The Central Water Commission predicts that the levels will further recede and could reach 208.30 meters by 1 p.m. Areas like Ito and Rajghat remain submerged due to damage suffered by a regulator of the Delhi Irrigation and Flood Control Department near Indraprasth. The situation has become so severe that floodwaters even reach the premises of the Supreme Court, located in the central part of the city. The Delhi government has taken immediate action to address this issue. The Delhi government is working diligently to resolve the damage caused by the flooding and ensure the safety of its residents. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who is currently in France, spoke with Union Home Minister Amit Shah to discuss the situation. Mr. Shah informed the Prime Minister that the water levels in the Yamuna are expected to recede within the next 24 hours. In response to the floods, the Delhi Disaster Management Authority has issued directives for the closure of non-essential government offices, schools, and colleges until Sunday. Additionally, the city government has banned the entry of heavy goods vehicles, except those carrying essential items, from entering Delhi through the four borders, including Singhu. Furthermore, let's turn our attention to the northern state of Himachal Pradesh, which is also facing the wrath of relentless rainfall. Himachal Pradesh is grappling with the aftermath of heavy rainfall, flash floods, and landslides, leading to the tragic loss of 20 lives in the past 48 hours. The damage to infrastructure is estimated to be around 4,000 crore rupees. Chief Minister Sukhwinder Singh Sukhu assures the public that the government is working tirelessly to restore road transport and power supply. His deputy, Mukesh Agnihotri, expects the situation to gradually return to normalcy within the next 72 hours. The monsoon mayhem in Himachal Pradesh has resulted in significant disruptions, leaving numerous tourists stranded and causing extensive damage to roads and other infrastructure. The state government is leaving no stone unturned to bring relief to the affected areas. Our thoughts go out to the affected individuals and their families during this challenging time. As both Delhi and Himachal Pradesh grapple with the consequences of these natural disasters, the respective governments and relief agencies are working around the clock to mitigate the impact and provide necessary support to those in need. We will keep you updated, subscribe to Goodgov Mail and stay tuned.